Okay, we want to make a video. What it all started out is I bought a Palmetto State Armory AR-15 upper in 7.62 by 39. I wanted to do an overview and, and test it and see how it worked and I did run into a problem. It was with the firing pin length. Now, the reason I started out making this video is um, you hear a lot of negative stuff about 7.62 by 39 uh, uppers in the AR platform. And there's all kinds of reasons, discussions. Uh, they don't feed well. The magazines don't work, especially if you use a 30 round magazine and, and everything else. And then there's something, one guy did a very extensive write up. It was like a web page. And he showed where he opened up the feed ramps or something with a Dremel tool. And all his problems went away at that point and, and this and that. Well, I got one of these just to test this out and see for myself what's going on. And what I found with uh, Palmetto State Armory, now I can't speak for any other type or, or system or other manufacturer, but for this one here... Their website, they all have good reviews, and the price is reasonable. They're, they're probably the, the lowest price upper you could buy. You know, it's all set and ready to go. And I put this, uh, it's a flat top. I put this cheap little carry handle rear sight thing on. <clears throat> now, what happened is using a Wolf steel case ammo, okay? Took it out in the first video, all kinds of light strikes, wasn't firing. So I got an enhanced firing pin, which basically uh, is 10 thousandths longer. Then I got to where it was like 5 or 6% of the ammunition wouldn't go off. Most of it would, and I think I had four light strikes out of a 30 round magazine. Now mind you, during all of this, there was no failures to feed, there were no jams, there were no problem with the magazines, and there was no problem with the feed ramps or anything like that. Everything stripped off, and I'm using a 30 round C Products, yeah, C Products Defense 30 round uh, AR 50 magazine in that caliber, 7.62. And as you can see, because of the taper of the cartridge, it's odd shaped. Not a single problem with this magazine, loaded with 30 rounds. Now you hear people saying, well, the 10 round works and the 5 round works, but the minute I get into this 30 round magazine, I got problems. I didn't have that problem. Okay, now, uh, a YouTube uh, viewer has sent me a couple emails. He's, he was getting to where he's trying to tell me what, how to fix this problem with the firing pin. What he did, and it's uh, 32 Flying Canine is the guy that sent me a couple emails and posts. And basically what he explained to me, and this is with the enhanced pin. He took the pin, chucked it up in a drill press, and you file on this inside lip here, this big wide part. Oh, my hand's shaking. You file on this little lip in here. And you take another five or ten thousandths off, and what that will do is when you hit the firing pin, it'll make it go out of the bolt face another five, ten thousandths. And he goes, that ended all my problems. The wolf ammo works fine. I've never had a light strike or misfire, which is right. And when I went over this and looked at the wolf ammo, you can visibly see where the primer is set further into the back of the case. The tolerances on the steel case they have are probably a little looser. An AK-47 and an SKS rifle probably have a firing pin that sticks out a lot. Okay, so that ammunition will not malfunction in those guns. The AR-15 platform is a little bit tighter tolerance weapon. Okay, and basically that's all it is. So yes, 32 Flying K9 is correct, and his advice 
if you know I wanted to go that route, would probably work. Just you get another five or ten thousandths on the length of the pin, problem solved. Okay, so let's go back to reviewing the gun, like I said. Um, everything functions fine, okay? There's no misfeeds, there's no jams with this brand magazine, no problems. You know, I had nothing, no problems whatsoever, and later on in this video I go out and shoot some brass case ammo, and I shoot the whole mag. No malfunctions. Okay, and that, that kind of proves it. Uh, the thing about getting to where the steel case ammo works reliably is the cost. A lot of people buy this upper or want to use it in this caliber because you can still get a 20 round box of wolf ammo for about five bucks. The brass case stuff that you reload, say, is eight bucks. You know, that's, that's just a rough estimate. So there's a difference in the price. Okay, and if you want to go out and just burn up a couple 30-round mags, shooting up stuff, you know, you want to go with the cheaper stuff, you know, stuff that's least expensive. And you don't have to reload it. I've never reloaded 762 by 39 because I could always buy some sort of ammunition that works just fine in an AK-47 copy or an SKS rifle, shoots accurately, and truthfully, it's cheaper then reloading in the steel cases, you just chunk them, you throw them away. So uh, that's the long and short of the firing pin problem. Uh, it, it can be addressed and done, but like I said, all these things about the feeding, the malfunctioning, did not happen with this particular brand of upper receiver or magazine. Now I have seen other videos where a guy had it looked like somebody put it together. It was a solid A2 upper with a barrel like this, similar makeup, mounted on there. And his bolt carrier and bolt were modified some strange way i never seen before. He took it out and showed us. And he was using a 30 round magazine that was what it looked like was someone took a 20 round AR magazine, cut it off, and then cut off a 30 round AK-47 magazine, somehow welded the two magazines together. So you had the section that would go up, down flush here, and then he welded from there an uh, AK-47 magazine bomb. It was clever, it kind of worked, he did have problems, but something like that, you know, unless unless you know exactly what you're doing, it's pretty tricky to weld them two bits of sheet metal together and get it to function right. Um, so you don't know if a lot of these complaints are from people getting stuff that was cobbled together. And of course, he said he bought it at a gun show, used, you know. And I I never seen on the upper. He bought an upper like that and a magazine. So you don't know if people are using some. Uh, modified stuff that's that's you know not a product from a company. I've used everything that's an actual product from a known company, and I've had no problems. So there. I hope this video um, we figured out the firing pin needs to be longer, um, and with certain brands of ammo like Wolf Ammo, it has to be even longer than the enhanced version. Uh, I have no problem with a better quality ammo, okay, with, and that is with the enhanced firing pin. You know, they weren't hard strikes, it was normal, everything went off, everything looked good, the primer strike, the primer, okay, nothing got pierced. So even if you went and added another ten thousandths in the length that it would run with Wolf and that, I don't think there'd be a problem. So firing pin problem resolved. As for the performance of the upper, it's 100%. I had no problem so far with it. I'm going to go out and try to do an accuracy test of the different ammo since I have different brands and see if one brand is more accurate than another. And eventually I may get around to reloading for this. And then the remainder of this video uh, is me out in the range. It was cold and I was going to do an accuracy thing but the wind was blowing, the weather was terrible. 
and I just went and loaded up a 30 round magazine with the uh, Red Army Elite, which is a brass case ammunition made in Bosnia, and not a hitch. And I show you how, you know, accuracy. I mean, the accuracy is good. I was freezing, my hands hurt, and I was shaking, and I still could hit pretty good with it. Okay, it started off as a review of the Palmetto State AR-15 upper in 7.62 by 39. It turned out I had a problem with wolf ammo and it was getting light strikes. Try changing the firing pin and everything else and actually got into a series of videos about this firing pin problem. I got the gun, I was trying to do a video to review this because the 7.62 by 39 uppers you get a lot of bad reviews, people say it's the magazine, the feed ramp. Other than the light strikes, this upper has functioned 100%. And we're using C products, 30 round magazines. Now what I did, the weather out here is terrible. I was going to do a comparison of the ammunition, but the weather's bad and it's too cold. So what I have is Red Army Standard brass case ammo from Bosnia, Herzegovina, and I got the upper. And what I'm going to do today, you know, some other day I might make a video where I test the ammo. I'm just going to try to get, I think there's 29 in here, 29.30 through the gun here at 50 yards and just do a function test because it's too cold. So let me get back and we'll give it a shot and see if we can get all the ammo through without any light strips. Not a single hiccup. Went right through the whole magazine, no problems. As far as the upper, this upper functions beautifully. I have no problems with it whatsoever. C Mag 30 round magazines function perfectly. No problems, no hang ups. It's just a little ammunition sensitive. And yes, I did leave the enhanced firing pin in. I didn't put the original pin in, and I changed the wolf spring, which I really don't think matters. And the brass has pretty much a normal firing pin strike on it. So, firing pin problem solved. The gun's ammunition sensitive. If you uh, Took another 5,000 off this enhanced pin. It would probably run with the Wolf ammo, no problem. With a little further modification. But using a different brand of ammunition, 100% function. This is a great gun. I like it. And maybe we'll go down and look at the target here and see what we did. Well, it looks like I got them all on the paper at 50 yards. It's still not too terrible considering my hands are numb and I'm shaking half to death. It's still fairly good accuracy. Uh, when I get the time, I'll do a test with the accuracy on it. But the upper receiver, the magazine, 
no problems. Like I said, no problems whatsoever. Uh, have to get an enhanced firing pin, maybe. Maybe the standard one will work. Uh, but it is, the Wolf ammunition is it's just sensitive to the ammo. You get a better quality ammo, not a problem. Uh, I really like it. It's a, it's a decent product at a good price.